shark over the years. We started this uh, in 1995 combat video, and I've met a lot of characters over the years, but I've never ever met a character like like the man on the left here, the jackal. He's uh, I find out after talking to him that he's actually Billy's older, uh, a piece of Billy's older brother. But I said, "Why do you call yourself the jackal?" He said. Because I like watching Discovery, and he said, I like seeing the jackal sneak the meat away from the lion. I said, how many fights you had? He said, this is my first, my last, my everything. <laughs> and he said, I want to see what all the fuss is about. But I'll tell you what, he might have been having me on a bit because he goes out there, he certainly knows how to handle himself, as we see in the first seconds of this fight. But a real character. Closes the gap nicely, though. His opponent tonight, Paz Vijo. Ooh, big right hand from Vijo, the Aussie boy who we watched fight last week up against Prince Hamid. When he lands a, another right hand, but the jackal stands steady. Both stalking the jackal, looking for the piece of meat that the lions are going to leave. And uh, the AJ is uh, going to keep it on his toes. Got an unorthodox style. Likes to get in, jab and get out. And he does so again with the left hand. Well, see, the jackal, compared to last week, I mean, the jackal's closed him down in round one. He, last week, we, when we've seen, uh, seen him fight, we've seen him uh, land that with that left not happening tonight. Dangerous right hand over the top there from him, skimmed past the, the nose of the jackal. Comes forward, whoa, left hand catches and had a little bit of power in it too. End of the first and uh, we follow the Aussie back to his corner. And uh, not a bad round for him. Well, in round number one, we saw uh, Paz Vijo um, on his hit and run missions like he uh, always fights. Uh, it looked like he had a bit of power in some of those shots, so sharp tonight. He was very unorthodox and he, he's, he throws some uh, shots from funny angles and they usually land and he steals some points. He's in a little bit of trouble tonight, not able to land as much as he usually does. As the jackal uh, you know, stands his ground and just sort of happy to bustle back. Oh, oh. oh! Bit of a buckle of the knees there. I'm not sure if it was a half by a slip or a good shot from uh, Vija. But but Vija comes forward again, tries to go on the attack, cuts that corner off, and for the first time of the fight, he backs. Up uh, the jackal. He comes in low, nearly off the left hand. Jackal almost caught him with the left hook early in round one, but things not going his way here in round two. And there goes that left hand again, a probing left. Yeah, the other thing that he's got going for him, uh, Fijo, is, is, the, uh, is the footwork. He's very hard to catch and a frustrating fighter to be in against. He is. He stays down low. He leads with the left. He's got his body to the side, so he's got a good reach on it. And uh, he, he'd be a frustrating fighter to, to, to fight. Hard to look good against him. But uh, I thought the Jackal was doing the right thing in round one. Like he was uh, hitting him with that left as he came in, but not able to do it here early in round two. Guys, square off the probing left again. The jackal, this, this is what it will steal the points all night. So the jackal needs to really close him down and get some back on the board here in round two. Yeah, he's proven to be very elusive as uh, Paz Fijo, the pistol. As we come to the end of the second and we go over to the, the red corner, the corner of the jackal. Getting the instructions from little brother. 
Lucas. He comes out and he tells me that the uh, Lupi Ole Soanga is the uh, village that they uh, come from. So that's, uh, that's the name on the back of the shorts there. So it's uh, going to be interesting to see if he can close the, the gap now, the jackal, and he does just that. But uh, cleverly wrapped up by Fijo. Yeah, and what he does is not only close the gap, but that left, oh, good left hook there. You know, we're talking about that probing left, but uh, there's those, those unconventional punches and those angles that he's thrown are just really, really hard to fight against. Oh. And uh, when we talk about that probing left as well, it's not a soft probing left. It's, uh, he's, he's really uh, throwing some power behind those two. There it goes again. I think that's the answer to that left, is, is to hit him back with the left hook. Jack will just have a bit of trouble getting his range against him. And he, uh, he's, uh, ooh, ooh. Well, he's having some success with the, the left hand that Fijo, and he lands it again as he comes forward. The Jackal moves out. Got to fight off the, uh, off the counter and uh, the reflexes. And the footwork of Fijo was so good that it makes it very difficult. Look right hand lead that time, and it landed. Now the thing is, the man that's been fighting for a long time, uh, up against uh, a man that doesn't fight, um, the stamina is going to come into play. Oh yeah, I, I think he's uh, got, got a bit of experience there. Is the oh, as you see, the read that right, he wasn't going to get him twice. They break up in the middle. And you just get the feeling that the pistol's stealing this fight, just stealing the points here and there and uh, managing to throw those those punches on those on those angles and just too elusive. 